whoa. <laughs> Not a good start. Okay. So, what are we tasting? This is day one of wine tasting. And today, we're gonna try out Kevin O'Leary's Cabernet Merlot. Cabernet Merlot. What year? 2019. Any other info? I believe it's from California. Is it? I don't know. I don't have my glasses on, but I think it is. Okay, we're gonna try her out. So excited. Mm -hmm. It is not a corked no. wine. It is a twist off cap. So easy breezy. And we're just letting it air. How does it smell? Oh. Hmm. Do you get any smells? I get a red wine smell. Smells like red wine. Um, so here we go. Thank you. I might get more smells this way. Hmm. It's a little bit more berry-ish as opposed say berry. to oaky. Maybe like a blackberry. Right. Right. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Oh, it's very smooth. Okay, so there is like, it's very smooth. There is no burn, no, no harsh after taste. No, it's very smooth. But what do you get from it? Well, I think after about a glass and a half, I get really tipsy. Yeah, it's more full bodied than a regular Merlot. Like it's got a nice depth to it, but it's not too oaky. It's not too overbearing. It's not woodsy at all. Like no. It's not earthy. No. It's very more berry, but not fruity. Not, yeah, like it's not, not sweet. sweet. Right. right. <laughs> See, we are wine connoisseurs. <laughs> definitely. We're totally experts. Definitely. <laughs> you know why it's so hard? There's no aftertaste. So There's no aftertaste. It's hard to call the flavor in it. It's There's no aftertaste smooth. at all. This would be really good with chocolate. Ooh. Now let's see what they say online. Hey, does your app say what my it, app what flavor will say. is? My app will say that. Let me just pull it up here. Should have been a little more prepared, but you know. It's our first time. Vinvino is the app that we're using. So what we're going to do is take a picture of the label. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at your... All right, so. Apparently, according to lcbo.com, it's $13.95 a bottle. Okay. Oh, regular $15.95. It's on sale right now, if you're interested. Oh. Well, let me tell you about what Vinvino has to say about it, except I think... There we go. Um, no, that's the wrong one. Well, Cab Merlot. Um, Here we go. All right, sorry, it took a minute. Um, it has a 3.4 out of five star rating out of 23 people who have rated it. Um, it's from California, it's a Bordeaux blend. It is, taste characteristics, it is listed as bold and dry. dry. I don't know what this is, the soft. Yeah. Oh, so okay. people are saying that they get... Oh, very different. Juicy and fruity red plums, cherry, and stewed strawberries. Stewed strawberries. I, I that never would have like. said... Uh, very good mm -hmm. Merlot vanilla oak. I can get the vanilla. I get a little bit of the vanilla, but not the oak, though. Another person says vanilla and strawberries. The wine yeah. starts sweet and finishes light. Fruits and That's vanilla. True. Not sweet. I wouldn't call it sweet. I would call it... It has berry, but not sweet. But this is what LCBO says. Okay. Ruby red, aroma of licorice, green pepper, 
herbs, cedar, Green pepper, and rye bread. We were way I off. had none of that. They didn't mention a berry. <laughs> they didn't mention one berry. Um, Dry, light to medium bodied, rounded palate, flavors of spice, bell pepper, herbs, cedar, and some word oh. that says lees. Lees. I don't know what lees is. So we were off, but our review is that it's berries without being sweet, bold without being like overbearing. Oh, here's a good one. It's a continuation of the stewed strawberries with touches, soft touches of vanilla, interesting blend with lingering tobacco infused cigar box notes. She probably just had a smoke. Flavors show blackberries, prune, dark cherry, and soft oak touches. Medium acidity, body, and finish. Anyway, mm. would you buy this again? I totally would buy this for thirteen ninety five. Absolutely. Love it. Great, great wine. Cheers. Cheers.